now making his way to the ring from the red corner, Joey Mullen. From the blue corner, Skyler hates Ladies and gentlemen, from the Bradenton Area Convention Center in Bradenton, Florida, our next bout of the evening is sanctioned by the Florida State Boxing Commission under Shindo Kumite Rules and Regulations. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds. The three judges scoring at ringside are Hector Gomez, Alicio Rodriguez, and Danny Torres. Your referee in charge of the action, Andy Glenn. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with gold trim. He weighed in at 149 and a half pounds. Tonight, making his professional debut. His fighting style is ace combatives, representing combat kings from Athens, Georgia. Here is Joey, the prodigy Mullen. His opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks. He weighed in at 160 pounds. Also this evening making his professional debut. His fighting style is Muay Thai, representing USA Muay Thai. From Crystal River, Florida, here is Skyler Hastings. If I tell you to stop, stop immediately. Touch him up if you want. Do your thing, Skyler. Do your thing. Let's go, Skyler! So, Master Meredad, we have a pair of 160-pound fighters, both making their pro debuts. Skylar Hastings in the black trunks with the gold trim, and in the white trunks, you've got Joey Mullen. Mullen driving all the way from Athens, Georgia, to be a part of this tonight. I think this is match made in heaven because uh, both are pro debut and young. And... Uh, I am very proud of Joey because he uh, uh, took the fight on a one-day notice. He took the fight on one-day notice and traveled all the way from Georgia to came here to fight. Both fighters being very aggressive. Not a whole lot landing, but some pushing and shoving. Hastings from Crystal River has a pretty good following here tonight. Um, Skyler Hastings coming from a very good Muay Thai school. Uh, he trained under uh, USA Muay Thai under Stefan Butenbeck. Stefan fought for us for many years. Uh, he's a Shindu Kumite champion, lightweight. He fought some of the tough fighters in our show. And Stefan is... Uh, He's a Dutch, Dutch uh, background, and he's from Holland, and he, he, these guys know what Muay Thai is all about. So Skyler's under a really good uh, trainer and train hard. Now, both of these fighters have been experienced as amateurs. When you make that leap to a professional, how different is it? Well, the path goes, and it's all bone to bone. Skyler was undefeated as an amateur in Muay Thai, 7-0. Big right hand there, connecting along with the left foot kick. Mullins, Mullen took a couple steps back. The right hand from Mullins. 
kicks connecting from Skylar Hastings. Hey, tonight's show, we don't have any female fight, but in our uh, March event, we have three or four female bouts, and these are some heavy-duty female fighters that with a lot of background. Right hook from Skylar Hastings. It looks like a Skylar is getting tired a little bit. Once again, three, three-minute rounds. Left hand from Mullins, and a good right hand from Skylar Hastings. And that is the end of round one. So two fighters that are making their pro debuts gets they're both able to get a round under their belt. Yeah, it's completely different. You can see that they're not used to uh, this world yet, and they are kind of a breaking through and getting comfortable slowly. Um, Interesting, in talking with Skyler right before the fight, he just had a baby girl that was born only a couple of days ago. Yes. So very proud. So he's had an awful lot on his mind the last couple of days. He did, and also he's... Uh, He's very supported by his mother, and uh, very extreme. He said that everything that he does has got to be extreme. You know what he does? What? <laughs> wow. He loves to fish for sharks, and he does it from shore. So it isn't a deal to where he's doing it from a boat. He's doing it from shore, pulling these sharks in. He said he had a 10-foot bull shark that started biting the rocks. There's, there's, That's how mad this shark was. There's plenty of them here. And Skyler Hastings having his hands full with Joey Mullen. The pro debut for both fighters. Mullen driving down from Athens, Georgia to be a part of this. Found out about this just a couple of days ago. Big left hand, or a big left kick by Skyler Hastings. And you can see that um, Joey Mullen is more again martial art background. He's throwing this spin kick, but he's not setting it up correctly. You know, just swinging this kick. You don't want to do that. You want to be a calculated. And when you throw the spin kick, you need to follow through and shift your weight through, uh, not just swing it up like that. He knows the kick, but he doesn't understand the science of it, how to throw the kicks. Uh, Skyler is getting tired. He's, he's better. A slip. Neither fighter has been down in this fight. Hastings went outside the ropes momentarily. Came back in. Big left hand by Joey Mullins. Another left hand that connected. Conditioning a big part of this fight, and it's obvious that Skylar Hastings learning a few lessons as a pro. Looking tired here in round number two. Skyler better be able to busy and exchange back more and start fighting more because otherwise he's going to lose the round. Judges look at those things when, they're, when the fighter's tired. Round number two, neither fighter has, has gone down. You can see Joey is more attacking, more putting pressure. And that's not good for Skyler. Skyler got to get up and fight. He's tired already. He's out of gas. <laughs> Mullins able to connect with a right hand. Also with a uh, kick to the body. And so that is the end of round number two.
So yes. two rounds in the books, two of three. One more to go, and he's better, better be very busy on the third round, Skylar, otherwise he's going to lose the fight because he's showing that he's tired and he's not answering against those punches and kicks. And uh, I feel like uh, Joey Mullen is going to come back on the third round a lot harder and a lot busy. And I think Skylar is better be a little bit more uh, aware of that. Now take Mullen's situation. He took this fight very late, drove down from Athens, Georgia. How does that affect one's body? Because you're talking a good, what, seven, eight hour drive. How does that affect you that very quickly to turn around, come down here, and then immediately fight? Well, it affects you a lot because, you know, you're not rested, you're not focused, you're rushing to come here to make your way in and drive eight hours. It's, it's, it's very much, and there's a lot of spirit here. Mullen has not shown much in the way of where he's been the aggressor throughout. Yeah. Skylar Hastings from Crystal River has got a good following here at the Bradenton Area Convention Center. And he's showing a little more aggression here in this third yeah. round. He knows he has to do it. High right kick. Good right hand, a right hook by Skylar Hastings that connected. The Skylar Hastings can win that fight because he has a better skills, but he doesn't have the stamina. And if we don't have the stamina, skills doesn't matter anymore. Hastings going down, they'll call it a slip. Big left hand by Joey Mullen. Skylar Hastings trying to do it again to hang on. Definitely out of breath. Tries to follow with a right hook. Doesn't connect. I can feel him in the ring. When you're tired like that, you don't see nothing. Joey Mullen has been the aggressor throughout this fight. He's better fight hard this round because it's his last round, and judges always look at the last 10 seconds how it happens. He's throwing some good leg kicks, but he's not following with anything else. He's got to fight hard. Mullen's trying a leg kick that didn't seem to do much. Mullen keeps coming back. But you can see that Skylar Hastings is simply spent at this point. Good left hand by Mullen. And that is the end of round three. Yes. So both fighters standing at the end of three rounds. Yeah, there's no knockdown, so that's all. at least that's a good sign. The pro debut for both fighters. I think what's played really hard on the Skyler is he had no win. And uh, we did some documentary on him before the fight. And, you know, he's a great guy, come from a great school, but he was a little bit wind out when he was hitting the bags. And, and I hope, you know, he, yeah, he, he just went out of the gas. Well, again, this is a whole new experience, a pro fight, a little bit different. And so it's obvious that... Well, they're young and they got plenty of time to go and uh, it's all good. Every fighter step in the ring are champion. Winner or loser, doesn't matter. There's no such things exist. They're all good. Meanwhile, Mullen, who had to drive down from Athens, Georgia, and took this fight very late, 
He doesn't seem winded at all. No, he's 19 years old. He's got a lot of energy. And I had a good feeling about him, and I told everybody, don't underestimate him. He's uh, keep saying, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. He's a, he's a silent and deadly kind of guy. Ladies and gentlemen, before the decision, how about a nice round of applause for both fighters, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the Bradenton Area Convention Center in Bradenton, Florida, after three rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. All three judges, Hector Gomez, Alicio Rodriguez, and Danny Torres score the bout 29-28 for the winner by unanimous decision, Joey the Prodigy Mullen. There you have it, Al.